Yo, what up, guys? Beside the here, and besides the normal huge changes that come into raid in terms of new dungeon, new Hydra boss, new Doom Tower, those huge content drops that usually come in to the raid sometimes to keep the community alive and you know entertained and you know involved in something new there are some updates that are just tiny enough to just improve your entire game one of the biggest one that came into raid since i've been playing one is the artifact instant upgrade now it allows you to take artifact from <laughs> level 4 all the way to 16 just like that so that was an instant one but it's just a minor update sometimes that minor update can you know help players more than releasing an entirely new dungeon boss which you're definitely going to ignore like most new players are ignoring the iron twins totally despite how huge it is as an update so quality of life updates or quality of life improvements is what those ones are called those little ones those little changes that just improve the way you play the game well four new ones are coming into raid right now i just wanted to talk about them and um, break them down see how they are going to work well not really see but actually explain a little bit how they will work and till we finally see them in the game in the next update that will be part of the new dungeon update everything is will come all in one so let's expect and break it down to see what's coming so again this is not a huge content drop but these are little quality of life improvement that is part of the big updates for a new dungeon boss that is coming in so the first one is doom tower secret rooms update what does this one say it says that once you complete once you complete gathering all available champion fragments in the secret rooms which most of us will be doing by now if you're beating secret rooms for a while you'll be getting closer to getting all the legendary champions currently i am trying to get which champion is available right now for secret room well it doesn't show in this window but i'm i'm still getting fragments for one secret room champion it's supposed to show me one of the secret rooms i guess i beat them all it doesn't show the champion that you're supposed to get from the battle damn well i can go to my fragment and show you the champion but when you finally get all the secret room champions what will you get from the battles because most players are getting to the point where they've gotten every secret room champion that is available in terms of the reward info right is it will it show me bosses or secret rooms it doesn't show me secret room um <laughs> rewards but anyways so when you finally get all the secret room boss um champions available what then begins to drop that's what everybody's trying to figure out well forge materials is what will drop from this secret room one two three all the way to 12 when you get all the fragments for the champions you're currently obtaining from the secret rooms is that a good thing is that a bad thing i feel like there's a lot of champions being released into the game constantly that's why they don't want to replace those secret room champions with new ones i feel like new ones should have been added there but they are releasing champions so many different ways they thought secret room should not be the way because we can easily get them the fragments can just be obtained next thing you know you have 100 fragments for a legendary champion that is sometimes good so that's why i feel like they are not doing it again uros the soul cage is one that i appreciate so much from this hard secret room and I, once i obtained him i was like why am i even pushing secret rooms anymore but i've gone higher to collect the other gum lock and whoever is available right there so once you obtain all those legendary or epic i think it's all legendary champions from the hard level of the secret rooms even this normal secret room if you obtain all the champions available right there you begin to get forge materials so which forge materials will they begin to give us i'm hoping i'm hoping it will be the one that are kind of scarce so if i head over to the forge i'm hoping we don't know yet the materials that will be available right there so forge materials possibly not this perception ones we got we will get from and uh, faction wars hopefully the ones we will get from doom tower those ones that are hard to obtain so maybe depending on the level of the boss you are fighting you know those bosses do drop forge materials maybe that's the exact forge material that will drop from that level so if you're fighting the um spider that is frost spider maybe you begin to get this from beating that particular level of the secret room maybe they'll match it with that exact boss that you're currently fighting at that stage or you're going to beat at that stage maybe that's the way they'll do it, it, it perhaps it won't be random if they make it random it won't be nice so you can actually repeating that boss repeating that secret room doesn't give you anything so i don't think repeating it again again will give you more <laughs> forge materials it will just be a one-time thing if you beat it that time i'm hoping it's also a lot talking 20 30 and uh, different legendary one not this rare um, um epic or rare one hopefully they give us most those expensive ones the amount is yet unknown so it's a good thing until we see the number
right now we can't say oh it's that's not a good thing to give us on the for on the um this thing because you need a lot of guardian sets and most of those time we don't even want to farm that boss but if you can get those artifacts from like little you see i i don't want to farm the dark fay but if i can get a little bit of more dark fay forging uh, materials i'll be happy from that secret room um that is on the dark fay level all right that's what the first quality of life improvement personally i don't see that as much of a quality of life improvement i see it as just a patch to a problem where a lot of players have beat all the content in that hard doom tower and now they don't have anything else to replace it with they're like all right, all right let's just give you four materials for now before we think of something else to put in that spot so just a temporary fix for now the next one is doom tower auto climb now this is one that i actually would see as a um, quality of life improvement because if i have 10 keys to spend today and i start my battle at, at 6 f1 auto climb means that once you start your battle at 6 f1 and you start the auto climb it will begin to beat 6 f um, 62 62 f 63 f 64 f 60, it will just begin to give just fight and go if that battle was successful right so it's not supposed to just beat this stage and wait for you to click next no i'm expecting to climb 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 if i have my team well built to beat all these stages that's what this um doom tower auto climb mode will do for you so according to the information that i'll release you'll be able to switch auto climb off once the fight begins so if you see the fight going south and you know that you will not go up to the next stage you can just switch it off and if you're still watching it but doom tower is something that most people want to farm and walk away not something they want to sit like today i've been farming sitting that's why i wanted to spend all my keys today at zero even before evening normally it's the thing i do last but right now i'm trying to do it first in the day so i don't end up trying to rush it at the end of the day especially at this hard level of the um stages at it when it's going to a little bit difficult and the battles are taking longer it's not something you want to do at the end of the day all right so that's um small quality of life improvement will allow us to fight doom tower stages not bosses now the bosses you still need to manually go there and start that battle it won't automatically start the boss fight because you need to make some changes to your champions and select the right teams for that particular boss so i see that as not that of a huge quality of life improvement compared to other ones that have come up but still is a little bit good so now the next one the biggest one out of all these four that they've released so far is this stage select ui update stage select we all know what it does or if you don't know when you want to start campaign battle you have to select a stage when you want to start dungeon battle you have to select the stage so if i head over to my dungeon right now i have already beat 25 of the fire knight but i mean of the ice golem but see where the, the um, page is starting me at stage one i have to do this all the time all the way before you start this battle so that's what they're trying to fix that whenever you head over into a dungeon it will automatically scroll all the way down to the last stage you beat successfully that's it so that's a huge one it's a, it's a minor update like i said but this is extremely important because we don't want to be doing this with our fingers whenever we open these dungeon pages it's 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 a little bit annoying but no i don't think a lot of people complain about this particular thing i don't think so but it's a good fix this will not only apply to dungeons it will also apply to campaign and faction wars so the same thing happened for faction wars if i head over to my faction wars and click i don't think i spent my keys for the day all right if i click right there it's supposed to scroll all the way down to the last boss i beat successfully right now it's not in the game remember when the next update comes up with the new dungeon and all that that's when we're expecting this update to drop next week i'm hoping next week after cvc maybe that's when this update it's all speculations we don't they've not released a date yet for that next huge update maybe when they'll announce that fusion champion the next december fusion that's when maybe all this will be dropped so then we'll be able to automatically scroll down to the bottom of the last stage we beat and start our battle normally so that's a good quality of life improvement that's the best one out of all these four so let me know which one you think is your favorite out of all these ones um now the last one that is not that great um it's just a minor one whenever you head over to an artifact and you do an instant upgrade right let me head over to an artifact and do one instant upgrade so you see how it was before the new changes will come in now it's related to instant upgrade which everybody has on right now if you reach the level to have it and enjoy it 
if I filter to a new artifact, oh, I already have a new artifact right there. Upgrade. And then I do it. It does not tell me how much I spent. Unless you can do the maths and say, oh, 9.5. It's not even 9.5. It's, you know, it slowly progresses from 4 star to, I mean, 4 levels to 8 levels. So you don't know how much you spend. The, how much you charge you for 4 level upgrade and 8 level upgrade is not the same. So the maths is not correct if you do 9, 9.50 times 2. So, or 950 times 8, whichever attempts you take. It doesn't tell you how many attempts it took and how much was spent. Unless you can minus it from the amount of silver you had before. And then, so it's a lot of math. So now this new upgrade says, whenever you do this instant upgrade, there will be a pop-up right here. Somewhere on the screen that will tell you how much silver was spent for this gear going to level 8. It's a small upgrade, but it's also something to let you know how fast your silver <laughs> is going. Normally, we look at the numbers amount of silver left we don't actually know how much was spent so this update will now tell you how much silver was spent why you can still look at how much silver is left from your total right there so that's the four um quality of life improvement that is coming into raid i just wanted to break it down like this so you can understand it when you see it in the game most times this update this upgrade or this quality of life improvement come into the game silently it's not part of the big news it's not part of part of the boss fights all the champions that will come in so it, they are usually not um noticed but this one you should notice them if you watch this video and you'll be able to enjoy them when you click your dungeon and it scrolls down to the bottom you're like what happened it's the update that made it happen. Your mouse didn't scroll automatically for you. When you do an instant upgrade, you see your the amount on the screen right there. You're like, is this new? You are not sure. But now you know what's coming, so you can be sure this is new. So my best out of all, again, is this stage UI, which everything will be scrolling down to the bottom. Is there any other thing I missed out on? No? I think that's it. So you guys let me know your favorite one out of all these four quality of life improvement. And again, this is not what the community requested for these are things that play them on their own so that hey maybe we can fix this maybe we can fix this the main one that community have been pressing for we've not seen it i don't want to go on a rant about all the things that are wrong right now i just wanted to highlight these good ones and appreciate them for taking the time to make these changes to um, the game hopefully they do more quality of life improvement than more huge content releases we need more quality of, quality of life improvement more than content releases i'll emphasize that because those things like allowing us to play the game less you know the ones that allows us to instant upgrade the ones that allow us to you know beat a stage with super raids you know those things are are great more changes like this that allows us to play the game less spend less time in the game is what we're looking for but we know that won't happen hit that like button for me in this video and i'll see you guys when this update is released and we'll you know all enjoy them together i guess later guys